it's gonna be a bit special this time because uh, we have uh, more movie which is which uh, the artistic director will introduce we have some workshops we have uh, screenings we have uh, three special events the opening ceremony as usual the identity of Mashariki what is it and uh, what we are trying to do since last year is to, to introduce what we call the genre cinema. This year the selection we did, it, uh, we are going to have around 70 films. In the Ziwachu category you have four, we have uh, seven awards, uh, four short films. We are planning to have, uh, since we have a film from Rubavu, from Musanze, from Mwe and Mwanga, each, each district will compete. We want to show to the world of cinema that uh, East African cinema it, it's growing somehow is is producing better than than the than West Africa and so on. We are on the eighth edition. Uh, uh, it's it's going to be a bit special this time because. Uh, we have uh, more movie which is which uh, the artistic director will introduce. We have some workshops. We have uh, screenings. We have uh, three special events. The opening ceremony, as usual, will be having also uh, Israel Night, where we share the culture of Israel and cinema in Israel. We'll have also the closing ceremony. Uh, I would like to introduce the artistic director so that he can uh, jump in for more artistic side, Mr. Fabrizio Colombo. You're welcome. Uh, it's my second or third year of collaborating with the Mashariki African Film Festival. What we try to do in this year is to find a way to be a, a unique festival within other festivals. There are other festivals in East Africa and Africa Film Festival, but the identity of Mashariki, what is it? And what we are trying to do since last year is to, to introduce what we call the genre cinema. So cinema which on one side is popular for people, like action films, crime, thriller, science fiction, even horror we had last year. At the same time, good cinema made you know in in, in, a, in a professional way so this year the selection we did it uh, we are going to have around 70 films and uh, i'm very happy to say that there is an increase of rwanda filmmakers present in the in the selection especially in the short film not in the long feature um, but you know, we have uh, the, that presence and, and it, it makes us very happy because the cinema of Rwanda is growing, also international. And um, you will see that also in the, within the selection of long features especially, the majority are from East Africa. Uh, and so this is another point important to show and being, having been worked also with other festivals in the West of Africa, it's important for them, and even in the north of Africa, to know that in East Africa, the industry of cinema and cinema is growing and, and they are producing good cinema. So that's my will, my with, with, with resort. We want to show to the world of cinema that uh, East African cinema, it, it's growing somehow, it's, it's producing better than, than, the, than West Africa and so on. Finally, uh, uh, let me underline the, the fact that uh, two, two things. One is the topic, the theme of, the, of this festival. Unfortunately, we don't have the posters. If you go on the website or if you come to Century Cinema, you will see the poster. You will see an African astronaut looking <laughs> at the universe. The topic, the theme is Afrofuturism. Afrofuturism is a cultural movement in Africa and in the diaspora that think and imagine the Africa of the future but with the feet on present. Finally, this year we will have the presence of filmmakers. Also thanks to the presence of the market, DISCOP, which will be taking place from the 29th to the 2nd of December, 
some of them will be here to present the film. So for you journalists, it will be nice to have you during the projections because the Ugandan delegation is coming, Tanzania delegation is coming, Kenya delegation is coming, some other filmmakers here and there will be there. So it's an opportunity to meet them and to show that Rwanda Mashariki African Film Festival is uh, promoting their scene. My job, I want to see films. I, I'm really, some films I know already because we have uh, showed them as well. And some are really new for me and I didn't uh, find them. When I looked for films, I didn't find some who are shown here. So I'm, I'm really curious about. Starting from the one of Cologne, we are thinking or we are planning uh, how our young Rwandan filmmakers can be having a chance to, to screen their movie, maybe during their festival. Uh, for example, so far we have the Vida Freak. Uh, it's an African film festival based in Montreal, and we have the representative here in Rwanda, which uh, next year they'll be screening one of the students of Tumenia many cinema project films during the Vida Freak. We have the Silicon Valley African film festival in California, the director is here, it's coming tonight. We have the TAF, Texas African Film Festival in Texas. We have the African Film Festival in Leuven or Brussels. We have the Festival de Film Damien in France. We have the <coughs> Fifth Festival International uh, Festival, uh, International de Film Francophone, Namir. We have the FESPACO. We have the Zanzibar International Film Festival in, Zanz in Tanzania. Um, Buru, uh, Congo International Film Festival in DRC. We have the, there are so many, the Hurib guy in Morocco, uh, in the UK, African Mission in Motion, in Scotland. Also, uh, the Portland Main International Film Festival in the US. There are so many. Uh, on 20. Ninth up to first, there, there is another workshop. Uh, which will be held by another brother of us from South Africa, Rachenko, Rachenko Mashilo. Uh, the theme will be a participatory creative documentary workshop. Uh, he will be having a lot of uh, students from our project, as you know, to many cinema. Uh, it means we have three workshops. Thank you very much. Normally, the criteria, uh, I may say, unfortunately, we are somehow, uh, uh, we, we, we really picked all the people who are going to attend because we've been uh, advertising it uh, before, even on our websites, on our uh, social medias. Uh, the one for tomorrow with Rwanda Film Office, uh, it will be held with uh, OEF, Organisation Internationale de la Francophonie. Uh, they put in a call outside, then they applied. People are there. Uh, they, on 27th uh, and 28th, uh, they're pitching an idea. Uh, you know, sometimes we are learning cinema. We do a lot of workshops and masterclass, but at the end, when you have that, uh, uh, you film, you don't know where to put it. You know how to pitch, to pitch uh, the, the, the producers, to pitch on. Uh, different levels. So that's what will be in the workshop, to teach people, to teach young creators how to pitch their, 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 their creative arts. That's what we will say in this workshop. Uh, then uh, uh, the last one, the last workshop about uh, participatory creative documentary by Rachenko Mashilo. It will be all about uh, doing some documentaries. Uh, if uh, I can say there is no documentaries here, yeah? And uh, if you try to see with uh, South Africans, they are really on, the other le on another level. So we wanted to do like uh, a capacity building. Then our brother Pete started with a good project, then uh, he's coming three days. Kwagi Zama Hirke, Bamu Wanye Shuri, Biga Gumna Kushis, Baratsinda. Bahavgani, 
yo gukora film kandi ijya muri competition iranatsinda ndetse bagiye bana apply na handi muri izindi competition za ZIF na handi bizagenda biza ni ibintu bishimishije rwose ku rubyiruko rwa hano nakoze cyane this year i mean as a, there, there will be this uh, small um, this prize uh, awarded to uh, the Basha is, what do you call it, Mashariki, Mashariki special, award. special Award for Iziwachu, which is 100,000 mm -hmm. Rwandan francs. And then we have this $1,000 for an East African film given by this special jury. So as I said, we hope more and more in the, in the future year. Yes. Yeah, so as you know, like, uh, like our target, Umwe hariko tukifuza kugeraho next year um, we need uh, once we select a movie maybe either a short film a documentary or a feature film we are going to try our best to invite the, the director of that of the movie of the particular selected movie so uh, for us to screen the movie on the presence of the director so those two things add cash for the award for by, by awarding filmmakers and secondly secondly we select your movie if you are from Senegal or wherever we are best to invite you and we add money for the rewarding so this will help us uh, will help will encourage the artist we just gave the chance only for student of Tomine cinema which is three movies that was selected last year that we selected again this year in the Z-Watch category. But the rest of the 70 movies, they are new, produced in 2021, 2022. Yeah. 70? Yeah, 70 uh, selected films. 75. 70, 75, yes. Mm. Except only three movies from Z-Watch, to many cinema, the remaining 72, they are new, was not selected last year. Best feature film, best documentary, best short film, uh, best East African award by Cygnus, and the Z-Watch category, you have four, we have uh, seven awards, uh, four short film. We are planning to have, uh, since we have a film from Rubavu, from Musanze, from Mwe and Mwanga, each, this, each district will compete. We have five in Musanze, they're gonna select, we're gonna select one. So we'll be having a winner in each district. And best actor, actress will be the combined for all those four districts. And the seventh one will be the Amashariki Special Award, Ibi Bijan. Yeah, Fabrizio can respond that. We have even the opening film was screened in Toronto, if I'm not mistaken. And oh, in France. In France. But it was in, selected in Toronto, yeah. Yeah, it was selected in Toronto, the opening film. So most of them, like 70%, um, were, 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 were screened in different festivals and selected there. Yeah. But the good thing is, we have also some African premiere. First time to be screened in Africa. Yeah, yeah the opening film which uh, uh, did his uh, world premiere in Toronto Film Festival. Uh, 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 he's showing it in, here in Mashariki for the first time in Africa, so he didn't go anywhere else. And he's winning here and there, because in, in the film, what is good for a film, not only to win, but to be acquired by, by distribution companies. So the film is touring uh, even America and so on. So he will open here and uh, but Safari, as I said, from Kenya, the film is ready. They didn't still, they didn't do the, uh, the opening in Kenya, but they're bringing the film here in, in Mashariki. So it will be an African premiere. And uh, other films they already won around, like the, 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 the Ugandan, uh, the, uh, Kafako, Tembele, they've been already win, winning in other festivals around Zanzibar, etc. But they didn't show it in... in, in uh, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to say that majority of the film are East Africans. And, and, and it's good because uh, we, we have to show that this part of Africa is capable of doing good cinema that also travels. Yeah. Mm -hmm.